What's up, YouTube? It's me, your guy, T-Belly here, and we have a brand new T-Wario Gaming News episode. Now, before I bother him, he's eating cereal right now. I just want to say thank you guys for all the support. Our first two T-Wario Gaming News videos has hit almost 3,000 views combined, and let's just keep it rolling. I'm shocked at these numbers, and I'm just excited, really, really excited for this month's news. There's a few topics to discuss and who knows, maybe we'll get a bigger push being at 1K now. So let's let's get to it guys. And unfortunately we gotta wake. We gotta bother to all. He's actually upstairs eating cereal, so <sighs> I'm a little scared. He gets pretty angry, but F, let's go for it. T Wario! It is time for the T Wario Gaming News of February 2019. Get your ass down here and do it. It's only been 28 days. Why is it the first of the month? It cannot be the first of the month for Loretti. You stupid T belly. <sighs> it's only been 28 days. 28 days and we're already at the T Audio News. I'm pissed off. You stinking, rotten, stupid mother. Hello YouTube, it's Amiti Wario, number one. Firstly, I hate this stupid rotten news, but it helping the tea belly. He give me the treasure, so I do it. I do it for the treasure, but it's annoying. Okay, first he bothered me when I'm sleeping. Then he bothered me when I'm eating my cereal, my Mario cereal, you stupid tea belly. So let's do the top of rotten gaming news of February 2019. March 1st. I love it March. Okay, let's just start with the game and the news. I got to my notes. T barely hits a 1K. Everybody knows. Without the T Wario. There is no T barely. I am the reason he's at the 1K. Not to him. Look at my video numbers. Look at his stupid video numbers. It's a not the same. T Wario is the T show. This is a T Wario show. Fuck a T barely. Okay, okay. Reggie flees the me. <laughs> Reggie flees him, eh? Sneeze him, eh? You little stupid Kanye days, eh? Okay, Reggie flees him, eh? He started the Nintendo in the 2003, right? Nintendo GameCube was out, so go to the system. Then Reggie brings the corporation to Nintendo, the Wii. Make a lot of money, but make a stupid the games. The Wii U, not the good system. Finally, finally, we got the Switcher. And now, Reggie is leaving. Reggie, it's a, this is a personal, 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 personal note from T. Wario. You are leaving, this is how I feel. This is how I feel, Reggie, please, me. Bye-bye, you filthy animal. We don't need you. We got the dog Bowser. We love dog Bowser. That's my body. Let's go for the future Nintendo and the future of a me. <laughs> Let's see, T Belly. Where's the T Belly? T Belly, get over here. Let me know what T Belly thinks about Reggie Fleas and Made, or Fleas and Made, Schmeez and Made, and Stinking Animal. Alright, guys, so it's T Belly here. So, my thoughts on Reggie Fleas and Made, I want to make it quick and simple. I don't want to get too in depth about it. T Wario has his thoughts. I have my thoughts. So, first off, I highly, highly respect Reggie Fleas and Made for everything he's done for Nintendo, for being a good guy, good representative for the company. But as a gamer, I feel like he forgot gamers. He was very corporate and family friendly at the same time, if that makes any sense. I kind of, you kind of saw that with the marketing of the Wii U and even the commercials and marketing of the, of the uh, Wii. The Wii was based off a family friendly system. The Wii U was more kid friendly. And it's like, what about us adults? What about us people that grew up with Nintendo back when you had games like Double Dragon on the NES? You know, beat em up games. You had games like Conquest Bad Fur Day on the N64. Even a Nintendo GameCube with, with a bunch of regular games like True Crime, Streets of LA, just to say the least. And I kind of feel like they got away from that. 
And I, I was one person that was all for third party Nintendo support. I was like, Nintendo should stop making consoles, go with third party. And thankfully, the Nintendo Switch has saved the company, at least for now. And I'm excited for Doug Bowser. I think we need a new direction. I think we need somebody a little bit more aggressive and somebody that has a little bit more sauce, to say the least. Reggie fils good guy, nice guy, but a little too family-oriented for my liking as far as Nintendo as a brand. And I'm really excited for what Doug Bowser is going to bring to the table. So back to T-Wario. Let's do it. Okay, we're not the bigger fans of Reggie. He's a nicer guy, but he's a not good for Nintendo. Nintendo has been on the bottom. And Nintendo is trying to build on the top. So get the Richard Reggie. He's no good. He's only good at 40. System a seller. But not the good for the games. Stupid motion control. No audio game. He's a not the good. Bye bye. You stinking animal. Next up in the gaming news. We have Resident Evil for the Switch. I don't care. I played all the games. Resident Evil 0. Resident Evil 1. Coming to the Switch in a doublet plaque for 60 bucks. No. I don't want it. But it's a coming. Resident Evil 4, digital only. Who cares? We don't care. Nintendo Switch owners, if that's the only game console you got, you need to speak to me. Because I have all the consoles and I can let you borrow one for a small price of one million dollars. Okay, okay, okay. One thousand dollars, one thousand dollars. Next topic, next topic. Kingdom Hearts, they sold it very well. That's a wonderful. That is a wonderful thing, but this is my problem with the Kingdom of Hearts. You see, I'm a Nintendo guy. I just started playing the PlayStation 4, the wonderful system, but now I gotta play Kingdom Hearts 1, Kingdom Hearts 2, Kingdom Hearts of Birth of By Sleep, Kingdom Hearts of Movie, Kingdom Hearts of Movie, and there's so many Kingdom Hearts games. Kingdom Hearts Goes to Space, Kingdom Hearts in the Sleeping Bag with Jason. It's a so many Kingdom Hearts game. It's gonna take a five or six a years to play this again. Not to mention, I got Kingdom Hearts 3, the newest one. It's a lot to game, but for those that got the Kingdom Hearts, congratulations, enjoy your game. But, Sora, you filthy animal. You come out to, you come to Warrior World. I'll teach you a lesson, you and the stupid key to blade. We don't want the key to blade. We got the muscles, we got the money, and we got the women. <laughs> you filthy animal. Next up is a, uh, Link's Awakening Returns. Link's Awakening Returns. Link's Awakening is as old as me. Link's Awakening came. Super Mario Land 3 came. AKA Wario Land. Link's Awakening, we have a bond. We're both from the Game Boy. But there's a wonder little problem. This is your first remaster. We had a Wario Land, Wario Land 2, Wario Land 3, and Wario Land 4 Link's Awakening. I don't know what to tell you, you stinking animal. But you had four good Game Boy games. Four good portable games. In that time, I had four good Game Boy games. Portable games. In that time, you had the more recent, the Link of Between the Worlds. Me, I got nothing. We got the mini games. I don't care about the mini games. All those other people, Waluigi's family, we don't care about those other people. So, Link's Awakening, when you come to the Switch, I hope you know I'll be talking to Bowser and we, you better sell well because if you sell well, maybe we get to Wario Land. Maybe, just a maybe. But if not, Link's Awakening, I'll be playing it. Yes, I would. Yes, yes. Okay, next up, next up. Jump Force flops, Anthem flops. Well, what do you know? You got the fighting game without the Wario. You have an exploration game without the Wario. The enemies in the exploration game, they're boring. The fighting game, the background is boring. What do you expect? What did you expect? You want to watch Paint Dry or you want to play Jumper Force? You want to watch Paint Dry or you want to play Anthem? Me personally, give me the treasure and give me the woman. I don't care. We don't like you that. We want more Wario, and there's not enough Wario, but we did have a Nintendo Direct, and it sucked. Okay, okay, what's the next? There's a rumors, Xbox on the Switch. Hmm. We don't deal with the stinking rumors. We like the news, but we don't like the news because we report on the news. So take your stupid rumors and shoving up your ass, 
Roman people, you stinking rotten animals. And last but not the least, the uh, comment of the month. Two months in a row, Megadon 29 with the comment of the month. Again, yes, sir, Wadio is better than all the YouTubers. So great a job, Megadon. You get the J Lover clapper for that. Time. This is for everybody, guys. We're all winners here. You know how I feel about clapping. <laughs> all right, keep it going, keep it going. Oh, that's an awesome. That's awesome. Thank you guys for another special episode of a D Audio Gaming News. And I'm upset that I had to read that stupid book. I want to eat my cereal. I want to count my money. I want to look at my treasure and make me do the stupid news. You freaking stupid tea belly. You stupid tea belly, you rotten animal. Anyway, you guys have a rotten day. And I'll see you next month. And it's a me, T Audio. Always. Number one. <laughs>